Hello and welcome to A Night in Roxburgh, Part 3, Ink and Dust. This time will come when the city will become our playground and our faith a simple pretext. This time will come when we will end up watching instead of seeing, and become blind. This time will come when we will be betrayed by the awakening and resurrected by the brethren and betrayer. Superior soul who so, prophecies of the Ashen Age. charming place for a taffer like me. I couldn't have imagined the heart of the city would be under siege. These high walls are a real golden cage. Nothing can find a way out. Not even rumors. The militia is trying to contain the invasion of undead. But they won't hold out much longer. I'll follow Artemis's advice and leave town before the madness gets me. Guess I'll have to forget about the Builder's Cathedral. At least for tonight. I almost got killed, I'm short on equipment, and to top it all off, I'm in a sewer. <sighs> Next time, I'll remember to think twice before taking a vacation. Survival is important to you. Come with me right now. So it's almost midnight. On this one Eventful night in Roxburgh. Looks like someone saved your life. You don't know where you are, nor why you were helped. Find out who's behind all this. Wherever you are, find a way to get out alive. Difficulty, which difficulty do I choose? I don't know. I regret the shadow last time, just because of the loot gold. I don't have a loot gold right now, but I might get one, I don't know. I think we're gonna go back down to the middle and uh, Hope for things to be a little more moderate. Guess we'll see. Still loading. Do I have? I still got metal upgrades. I got a lantern, which turn on and off. I got a flash bomb. Got the soul half. Whatever you could ask to me, I guess the keepers still want it. Eight board heads, five waters, three noise arrows, two red arrows. No noise makers at all. Definitely must have dropped some stuff. Oh, we're back here, are we? We go up or down. 
Well, I guess we're going down then. to you again. What are you doing here? Um, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to wait? Welcome back among us, novice. Know that Interpreter Tales is waiting for you. He can be found in his personal quarters. Hasten yourself to go meet him. Wait, what's going on here? Tell me, what's going on? Back novice, you say? Rules of the Order. The search for the truth is not an easy task. We must form a unit. The individual is nothing, and any solitary act will generate chaos within the Order. We should forget who we were, what we were, in order to purify us and be as one. Sharing, timelessness, and elimination of individuality are the end result of this rule. Respect the interpreters and the superior soul, for they are the light of our thoughts, and they guide us beyond the fog. Obey elemental and protective souls, for they organize our research and take care of the integrity of our tasks. Respect the guardians and the carriers. These creatures come from the transition zones. They are potentially dangerous, and only the interpreters and the superior soul know how to command their services. In the event of an incident, call an anom anonymous soul. They are forbidden any knowledge. Their only purpose is to serve and to protect. Report all suspicious behaviours or all anomalies noted within the North and South Star, the Laboratory, or the Enclosure. Only experienced souls are authorised to go to the North Star, the Laboratory, and the Enclosure. Superior Soul Duma. I just said my life and what their intentions are. Okay. Also play pranks. Got heavy footsteps for one so small. Any other books to read? That's uh, a long way up. T12-03-A143. This place baffles me. Who built it? In which era? For what reason? I was discreetly made aware that it existed well before the creation of the Order. But who could create such sites? And why did this place become ours? Additionally, where are we located? This can't be a structure built in Roxburgh. It doesn't show on any map, and it is impossible to hide such a building. Are we in the nearby forests? Are we buried underground? Nothing ever written seems to indicate its origins or the nature of these libraries. The South Star, as well as the Laboratory, have a relatively logical architecture, although some areas seem like fantasy. 
According to what I've been told, the North Star is completely fragmented. Scattered rooms link the hallways that move continuously at Superior Soul's well. This is madness. And what about the enclosure? Nobody could describe it to me. And what are those transition zones? Those dark paths linking each portal and only appearing from time to time. Interpreter Talos, please shed some light on my thoughts. I go through sudden anxiety episodes by being in doubt, thus making me unable to work normally. Soul food on. Child labor. Heavy footed child labor, but child labor all the same. Oh, look at the wind that blew out your candles there, mate. Yendros, the city council is deeply grateful for the efforts of your men in the emergency construction of this great wall, which now begins to shield us from the dangers behind it. We know of the hours of backbreaking labor you have already given us, but regret that we cannot yet allow you any rest, as the work is of greatest urgency. You have our deepest sympathies at the loss of your workers, Barton and Aiden, to the zombies, but you must know that your men number among the legion lost to this evil. As we regain our city with the undead put down and the wounded given succor, we have freed a watch of the guard to accompany your men as they finish. So do not let fear stop your efforts. The city counts on you. Do not fail us in our hour of need. Lord Witch Simon. Merit Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct. La, 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 la. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guard thy heart from doubts as thou guardest thy tools from corrosion. For thy faith and thy tools are the best that thou hast. Yeah? Tools on top. Don't talk to me about tools. This room is full of tools. Well, I guess we go find out who wanted us here. We can go left or right. Hey, man. So we should welcome back, novice. So firstly, the only time I've been in these guys' area was when I was busy uh, knocking them all out. But I was a novice keeper, I was never part of this order. You get a lot of impressive books. I guess they're impressive. I'm not stopping to read them. The ink of this book has become strange lately. Perhaps a glyph has altered my eyes. <laughs> I guess that's a mistake. I guess he knew I was there. Let's try that again. Well, while I'm on that thought, do any of these guys have pockets? It's a lot easier to just be sneaky in this game, because at least then you know what the rules are. <laughs> and not, well, you pick someone's pocket and you're behind them, but they kind of knew you were there, so it didn't count as stealthy. If I approach him from behind, you should never know I'm here, right? Knowledge is our purpose, our faith, our quest. Will lead us to the truth and... Hmm. That globe isn't valuable. Only one of them was. The new scripture of the Master Builder. Blah blah blah. Karis. Karis. Karis should be God. He said things. Wait, 
he was reacting to me? But I'm allowed to be here, aren't I? I don't know, I am confused. But I'm not throwing out a weapon until, uh... So I think I've got a good reason for it. But why did they welcome me? Yeah, what is going on? Why? What's up with Artemis? Why didn't Artemis actually show up? Room of the Accession. Am I allowed in here? I find these incidents to be rather strange. Recently, the superior soldier's behavior has Such futile events. Wait, where is that? Sounds like it's over here. What is that doing? Oh. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flames, nothing but flames. Ah, God, you guys are boring. It's just the same, same library. Scriptorium. I find these incidents to be rather strange. Recently, the superior soldier's behavior has evolved too. There is something going on, I'm sure of it. I'm sure you're right. All this light's gonna make it hard for you to copy. Nice diagram. Broken air crystal. It's a dangerous thing to leave around, so I could step on it and break it more. I'm I'm behaving correctly for a novice, am I not? It's a big place. 
Very confusing. Forbidden and dangerous books, okay. Are all books dangerous? I mean... They're flammable, after all. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Still doesn't tell me. I think the guy told me at the start, but I kind of forgot. I was back at the domain library. Okay. This looks like mushrooms. <laughs> Same. Hello? Same pro toilet paper, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe it's different. It looks as the same ish as in Trials of the Academy that I was collecting too much of. It's just like I had the world's biggest collection of toilet paper and never seen it in the game. Probably not true, but I just like had 20 of them. I didn't need them. The Poker of Superior Soul Huser. Okay. I guess we want to talk to the Superior Soul. Who's so superior? It's locked, I guess we're not going in there, right? I mean, I feel like I need to know what's going on before I start doing naughty things, right? I was about to check that uh, room on the right, but no, that was the Forbidden and Dangerous Books again. Drinking on duty. You're all doing that. Are you, okay? Are you okay? Hmm. Stuff I want to pick locks and steal from. He am the honey maker and drinkers we them mead. He am the jack earlier and eaters we them leaves. He am the trickster and the witty lord he be. T31, hello, 18143. Novices, I've had enough of your behaviour. The dining room is always in a mess. You must stop borrowing the chairs to read in the hallways. It shows a serious lack of the discipline required to achieve our quest. By behaving in such a manner, you will not acquire the necessary experience to access the North Star. If this continues, I will have to take punitive measures. You will only be allowed salad and water for your meals. So, no. Salad and water. Can you imagine that fate? Flash bomb. Something going on, I'm sure. The text in your book is all blurry. Not going to be a very useful book. Flash mine, the most useless kind of mine. I will go back down. Okay. Again, I'm gonna need to come back up here and start stealing things. We do, do I start now? What could possibly go wrong, actually? You know. Knowledge is 
Do I read that? Oh yes, that's the Honeymaker's Axe Bray. So it's weird that that's the key I found from some guy happened to open a chest. I guess he must have been the novice. He's surely on the novice's clothes. I mean, maybe there. A mechanist mask. That's interesting. Is that going to allow me to pose as a mechanist at some point? Okay. Storm is a key. I know none of the AIs actually care if you run around. But if we just go down that way, we just get back to where we were before, I think, right? Oh yeah, we came in here. It's the uh, accession room. Look, I'm not walking. You're walking too fast, guys. If you're that taken aback when you're walking to me. Just slow down your pace a little. It's not a race. It's a patrol. This reminds me of the Keeper's Compound. Really, Garrett? You only just noticed that now. I'm sure I... Yeah? T96 L03A143. It's interesting to notice that enemy factions seem to coexist within the old city. My theory is that it is the balance reached by the Keepers. Although it isn't proven that the Keepers exist, it would seem that the writings, theories, and tales relative to this secret group has, in some way, influenced the collective unconscious of the city to such an extent that a balance occurs naturally. The recent events with the Mechanists will even more reinforce this coexistence. The Pagans having almost disappeared from the old city. The city almost fell into chaos. In Roxburgh, the Pagans were driven out of the city about 16 human years ago. The city is a stronghold that belongs to the Hamrites and to the remaining Mechanists since the fall of their guide, Karras. However, the pagans settled in the surrounding forests, to the point that the city of Roxburgh looks like a fort of the Builder, isolated in the middle of the Trixus territory. The situation is stable and stabilised during those 16 human years, but it is more than likely that a major crisis will plunge the city of Roxburgh back into the balance, if not into total chaos. Soldier arms. Are there, have I been missing some gold candlesticks? I've probably been missing some gold candlesticks until they uh thinking that they're uh, things I could light. Hey, I'm already a novice. You don't need to keep uh, trying your recruiting spiel on me. Course of interpreter tiles. Okay, that's where I need to go. You know what? I'm gonna do a quick, quick scout back down. Uh, for desks I passed with candles. And stuff. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure there was some somewhere that were probable but were not already lit. Like that one. It's, unfortunately, the choice of textures makes it look very similar to the, uh, the ones that aren't gold. So, oh, I haven't been here. T96 
82LO1A142. These questions have haunted me recently, and I must write them down in order to free my thoughts. I understood it only three minutes ago, but to be part of our order implies forgetting our past. Therefore, it is probable that I will never have confirmation of my approval. Was I a citizen of Roxburgh? A reject? A religious? Why was I chosen? Did I have a family? What became of them? What is my true name? All of these questions assault me, torture me. I should rid myself of them before being discovered. I don't dare to imagine what would happen if I were. Well, I will take the evidence so you won't be discovered, mate. I can do that for you at least. Interesting book. Nice painting. Oh, there must be another key that I could get. Tier 7 L1A143. Welcome among us, Soul Fudon. Following your initiation, we informed you of the rules of the Order. However, our protective Soul Mail Halter omitted to explain to you the time concepts of the Order. To achieve our quest, we must become neutral, without influences, without character. This shows under several aspects, in particular in regards to time. We do not use hours, minutes, or seconds anymore. We use the term time, a vague concept which makes it possible to be involved in more research than by using a more precise timetable. A time is equivalent to approximately six hours. We also use the lunar cycle to distinguish a vast period, and in order to avoid enumerating an excessive number of times, a lunar cycle corresponds to 120 times. Lastly, every 12 lunar cycles is a year, year zero being the year when the order was founded. Make sure to date all your written documents, for they could be used for various studies and research. The date must be written in the TX, LX, AX form, where T is Tempus, time, L is lunar, lunar cycle, and A is annum, year. Interpreter tells us. There we are, now it tells us. Are we the masters of our words, or do we become the slaves of our readings? I'll have to. He apparently knows I'm there. But if I sit here for a minute... Any sense at all, you're quite right. Those are boring candlesticks. The arrows, that's probably a good thing. That's east. Oh, it's not a painting. Key for that as well. I'm not going to bother trying to pick it. 
Um, so... Nobody's gonna miss those, are they? Okay, come up here, it looks a little... old and cobwebby. Oh yeah, the succession room. Okay, that's just an old fashioned candlestick. Well, I suppose I could put out all these candles. Calm down. I guess my readings and thoughts are You know, some, some preventative extinguishment. Oh, that's the guy who had the key. Why? Is he a novice? Doesn't look like a novice's desk. Maybe it's not his desk. Maybe he's just working there. Right, this was the main library room I started, so I wanted to run around here quickly and check for any maybe. You know, some of these candlesticks could be lost accidentally. It's a definite risk. Okay. Back on track now. Let's actually go talk to Interpreter Towers. Upstairs, I think. Just the scriptorium didn't have any candlesticks, no. Yeah, up here. Back to being on our good behavior again. Did I check this way? I think I checked it and it was locked and I couldn't unlock it, but I don't think I checked whether it had a sign on it or not. Alright, let's make a save here in case things go uh, badly. I don't know what could go badly, but... What's the potential? T20 Yellow 3A143. Interpreter Talas, please deign to accord some thought to my words. I am writing to you in order to inform you, inform you of the difficult behaviour of Sol of Lane. Not only does he refuse to share his knowledge, but he also prevents other members from working in decent conditions. It has been reported to me that one of us, having to return to the North Star, had to resign himself to searching for a lost book before Sol of Lane would allow him through. Of course, I understand his difficult role within the Order. It is right that the transition zones must be controlled and watched, but this unenviable task cannot justify such behaviour. Certain members have arrived at the point of avoiding addressing him for fear of being commanded to perform some thankless task to satisfy his latest desire. I am therefore begging you to take the necessary measures in order to remedy the situation. If a dispute arises, it risks detracting from the good functioning of the South Star. Objective Soul Hydra. Oh, what? Uh, you, you realize you got a hole in the floor? Is, is that... meant to be that way? Seems, seems hazardous. Garrett, I see you've made the right decision. Who are you, and what do you want from me? <laughs> what I want? By your simply discovering our existence, you should be dead. However, I'll give you one chance to atone for your fault. By stealing the soul heart, you have proven to me the greatness of your skills. And they'll be very useful. I guess you leave me no choice. Indeed. As you probably noticed, the Roxburgh City has fallen into chaos. And I know the cause. Recently, there was an incident. 
One of us has awoken, and now he seeks for revenge by depriving us of our observation field, by destroying the city of Roxburgh. Has awoken, you say? I suppose your members aren't volunteers? I don't have to justify nor explain to you the functioning of our order. The fact is, the traitor of which I speak seems to have overestimated his strength and cannot control what he created. I can solve this crisis, but I'll need your skills. You know, I could refuse to help you and just leave if I want. If you manage to leave this place alive, you will die in the coming months, for your world will likely disappear. Roxburgh has been built such that the epidemic is trapped within its walls. However, if it spreads to the outside, one needn't wait long until it reaches the old city. The Hammerites, the Pagans, and even those Keepers wouldn't stand against such an invasion. Nevertheless, there is a solution. There are three mystic stones at the origins of the Order. You managed to steal one of them, but in this place lie the two others. You must find them, reach the most sacred place of the city, and gather them at its summit. In this case, the Builder's Cathedral is obviously the right destination. Then, I will handle it. Why me? Can't you do it yourself or use one of your puppets? Alas, the Order is dying. It is torn up in fratricide disagreements about the way to accomplish our quest. I am in charge of the novices, a group of clumsies and ignorance. But the experimented members are under the supervision of a superior soul, and he is corrupted by our quest. Blinds, fools, madmen. Only I see the threat coming, but I can't handle it by myself. I left you instructions on the desk. Take them, and hasten yourself to fulfill your task. Um... I want to get this guy to a doctor. He's kind of wheezing really badly. I think his lungs might be infected. Are those the instructions you meant? Gold instructions? Alright, follow them to the letter. Those are probably my instructions there. supposed to be in here. It's just a bathroom, huh? Right? Toilet? Why did you lock the toilet? Stop the wheezing guy from going from using it? Mental's breath. What is that? What is an elemental's breath? What does the book say? Tales and Legends of Roxburgh, Volume 3. This book's goal is to collect the most tales and fantastic stories related to Roxburgh. Reality or imagination? You be the judge. Dead Zones. There is a unique phenomenon in the city of Roxburgh. It's called the Dead Zones. This name is used for very dark places that no light can light, and no light can make disappear. There is no proof that these dead zones really exist, but several people are firm to have discovered some in the city. Each time somebody went to check the accounts of these witnesses, the dead zones were nowhere to be found. Many reports of the militia reveal that the day before the discoveries, the majority of the witnesses of these dead zones would have had strange nightmares, where they found themselves in large, rusty metal rooms and filled with instruments of torture, and populated with deformed creatures. It is probable that these dead zones are actually hallucinations due to the nightmares, thus not real. However, it is interesting to note that several people who do not have any relationship between them had the same strange dreams, and that they had the dreams the day before their discoveries. Is there a mystical phenomenon hidden behind that? Or is this an urban legend which influences some people so much that they dream of it and believe in it? It is impossible to precisely determine what it is, considering it deals with a field of dreams and imagination. Moreover, no religious archive reports these facts, so no one can associate it for sure to pagan magic or any other magic. 
The sect. An old legend men mentions a group of men dressed in black, speaking strangely and going through the city like shadows. Watching everything citizens do, kidnapping and magic rituals are associated with them. No report was made on this topic, only rumours. I know it was added. Either this legend is about the Keepers, and we have to investigate their presence in Roxburgh. Either it is about an unknown group, and we have to find more about it. Either it is about the Order, and in this case we need to increase our vigilance so we aren't noticed during the expeditions in the city. The Hag. There's a tale in the old city of an ancient witch that kidnaps children and disappears like the fog. There are testimonies about old women vanishing in the fog, but it is likely due to the fertile imagination of the witnesses. However, this tale that was once unique to the old city actually reached the Roxburgh city recently, and with it, similar testimonies of people disappearing. It is well known that such tales are used to explain or to give a reason to everything a person cannot understand, so the tale of the old city witch has a convenient conclusion to the unexplained cases of missing people just like the sect is, as well as feeding the local beliefs. You okay, man? You need some help? There you are. Okay, where's, before I get my instructions, where does this door go? Nice statue. Not creepy. Well, let's take another painting, shall we? I don't know what I need them for, but you know, I look good on my wall. Nice swords. Silver or something. I thought I saw something down there. I guess not. Alright, time to stop thieving and start believing. I mean, following instructions. Start leaving, I guess. Oh, healing potion. How nice. What's the palace instruction? Garrett, here are the instructions for your task. I have altered the vision of my souls in such a way I can make you pass for one of ours within the South Star. Thus, care to act as such, and you will have no problems. However, I cannot do the same in the North Star, and you will need to be very careful over there. There are three original stones, the Soul Heart, the Living Breath, and the Dead Shadow. We know very little about them. They already existed when the Order was created, and some writings suggest that they are linked to its origin. But it is known that the three stones give a great power of creation and destruction to whoever wants to unite them. We must use this power to control chaos in the city of Roxburg. We are three brothers, three interpreters, each of us in charge of one stone. I am responsible for the soul heart that you have stolen at the laboratory, making me aware of your presence in the city. My two brothers, Tarsal and Thessal, are responsible for the other two stones. Interpreter Thessal is responsible for the living breath. You will find him at the North Star. He is in charge of elemental research and takes care himself of the light zone. The living breath is hidden somewhere in his quarters, and he shouldn't have much problem recovering it. Interpreter Tarsal is responsible for the dead shadow. You'll also find him at the North Star in the lower levels. He is in charge of the workshops, the expeditions to the city, and the dark zone. The fact is, by being in the dark zone for so long, he lost his mind. It is impossible for me to know where he is hiding the dead shadow, but I fear that he put it within the dark zone. If that is the case, your task won't be easy. You will need to make yourself a key to access the zone and to survive its dangers. Once you have recovered all the stones, I will ask you one last favour before opening an access to the city of Roxburgh. There is a book, the Book of Names, that contains all the names of the members of the Order. This book can only belong to the superior soul, the leader of the Order. You must find that book and bring it to me. Once it is in my possession, I will then ask the superior soul for the book to check some information on it. Of course, he will not be able to give it to me. Therefore, he will have to resign for that serious breach of the rules and customs of the Order. 
Thus, I will be able to change the order to give it back its legitimacy, its equilibrium, and to stop its exactions. I will keep in touch by way of telepathy in order to guide you. With these instructions, you will find a healing potion, which will give you the force to hold all night, as well as a key, which will give you access to some places in the South Star. To reach the North Star, it is necessary to go to the Tower and to meet Sol Blaine there. Go now, and make sure that your mission is a success if you wish to get out of here alive. Remember, you only need to enter the Light Zone and the Dark Zone. It is unnecessary for you to enter the other elementary zones. You don't have time to waste doing so. Furthermore, this won't be tolerated. Interpreter Talos. South Star Key, alright. Enter the Light Zone, steal the Living Breath. Enter the Dark Zone, steal the Dead Shadow. Find the Book of Names and bring it back to Interpreter Talos. Find a way out. You already have enough trouble, try not to make it worse. Don't kill any important members of the Order. Still don't have any kind of map. Alright. So with this key... We can go new places. I mean, this is very weird, right? <laughs> So there's this door over here, there's the door to the tower, there's the door to the storeroom. I don't remember, I don't remember if there's any other doors that uh, prevented me access. So everyone in here is, is kind of okay with me. Maps room, map room, that's what I need. I was just saying I don't have any kind of map. Oh. Now oh, that's what I'm talking about. Bit big to fold up and put in my pocket though. Very nice map, I love it. I like that a lot. Have a more portable map that I might use. No, please. What a map of this South Star and North Star, no? Oh yeah, I shouldn't uh, use my weapons. If I use them, that will probably trigger the same problems I had before. I came in. New scripture of the Master Builder draft, page 41. Yes, yes, I've seen that. South Star Key again. Protective soul. I know we have already talked about this, but I cannot find a way to purge these thoughts from my novice. Don't bother with such futile events. Concentrate your knowledge on a brighter duty. You're not listening to me. I did see a statue move by itself and seek inside these walls. You must do something. Hey. Careful, novice. I've warned you already. But I... Forgive me. I won't bother you about this anymore. I shall return to my tasks. Sorry for putting out lights, but uh, that's, I'm just a novice. It's just the task I've been given. Put out all the candles. I don't make the tasks, I just do them. Hello? So they have. I feel like Gamal isn't ended up here. It's like. That doesn't make any sense. But what? Rather strange. Recently, the superior soul's behavior has evolved for two. I suppose someone else might have uh, figured out the same statue glyph or something. I mean, these guys seem to have 
more or less the same knowledge or, 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 or same kind of tools. I don't know if that's the right word. As uh, the keepers do. Right, they use glyphs, they do a lot of keeping of books. Hmm. Ah. What about this other key? I mean, there's a novice this key, right? It's not gonna work. Was there another novice chest we couldn't open? I think there was. Oh, there's the stairs down. I'm gonna guess we go down. Lots of bathrooms. Was this the tower or is this the storeroom? Oh, no, this is where the novices are. Well, let's check. I think I think there was might have been that side. But I think there was another chest that was that was locked. Okay, and then there was the doors to the tower and the storeroom that were locked. Who would have the Forbidden and Dangerous Books key? Shift for a second. That's the tower. I thought the storeroom was opposite it. Did I just walk past it without paying attention? Wouldn't be for the first time. Wow! It's party time. <laughs> Doing us the same, they just want me to walk along with them. Well, that's not the storeroom. Maybe the storeroom was upstairs? Sorry, mate. Some room in the accession. Let's just see what else is, what's going on in here again. Just uh... Right, there's nothing, nothing of interest. Find the storeroom before going to the tower. Ah, maybe that's it over there. Or here. Where's that key? Book about the new weapons. Notice the new equipment of the aura. Light arrows. Element light. During my research, I managed to create an elemental crystal, similar to the existing ones we already have, but with a difference. It holds a huge amount of power, way stronger than it was meant to be. The first crystal has been destroyed during its test. I'll keep the second one until I create more of them for the expeditions. Stone potion. Element earth. This potion allows you to resist any kind of physical attacks. It transforms your body into a rock, making you invincible for a certain length of time. However, it makes you extremely vulnerable to magical attacks. They dissociate, they break up, they can dislocate the stone. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is recommended. Frost Potion, Element Ice. This potion allows you to resist every kind of magical attack. 
transforms your body into a block of ice which reflects the spells. However, it makes you highly vulnerable to physical attacks. You become similar to a glass, a mirror that can be broken. Make sure not to pull down and keep your distance to your potential enemy. Silence Potion. Element Water. This potion modifies your metabolism. It increases your stealth by running through your blood. It alters the composition of your skin, making it similar to moss. There might be a secondary effect of anesthesia. Make sure not to be harmed, for you might not immediately feel the pain. Dark Grenade. Element Darkness. This grenade is similar to an egg, and is supposed to come from the dark zone. As it breaks, it summons a dark being which will support you in your fights. To be used and manipulated with extreme caution, for the creature could reveal itself as hostile. Only the interpreted tassel can obtain one for you. Gas Bomb. Element Air. This grenade contains fragments of air crystals. Once it is damaged or receives a hit, a mechanism inside crushes the crystals, pressure created, releasing a gas. Attention, stay away from the impact zone. Flask of Prams Oil, Element Fire. This flask contains some Prams Oil, which is very unstable. When this oil is in contact with fresh air, it creates a potentially dangerous flame. Still, its uses are minimal, as it is revealed of being too low of power. Some tweaks in the amount of oil it needs are being made to improve the use of this tool. Note, concerning the vine, Elemental Soul Pramor hasn't created a tool for the expeditions. Indeed, as he becomes more and more similar to a pagan creature, he omitted to work on what he was told. Furthermore, he hid within the order several rotten fruits, which are very fragile and contain many insects. Be vigilant as you touch them and be cautious not to eat them. Also, the effects of the potions dissipate progressively. Be aware, as it is easy not to return notice the return to your original state. Interpret the Tessa. Okay. Silence potion. Bag of cursed seeds. That wasn't mentioned. Ice dust. Noise makers. Rodheads. Visibility potion. Sand from the burnt islands. Gas mine. Flask of prams oil. Flash bomb. Message number three of six. Lord Kilmeny. Okay, we've got one of characters recordings Message here. Message number three of six. Lord Kilmeny. Oh. Okay, I'll join you on this epic journey. Do 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 that has a key. I couldn't find the key. Where's the way down? Maybe the steps down. I need to go back to the tower. On the tower? No, this one was the tower, right? Yes. Where's my key? Always check under the stairs. Nothing. said. Alright. Well, we'll continue exploring the tower in the next episode. Thanks for watching.